So last time we were talking about how the clay after you roll it out and then you want to lay out your uh, macad and now you're going to lay that on the your clay that you already roll them out and because this is a soft slab so I, what I want to do is let them kind of stiff up a little bit create a little bit of a skin means a little dry on the outside tiny bit but still bendable and then I will cut them out and then, and then ready um, to use. Um, on a side note, I will prefer, I think I would suggest um, everybody, um, when you are um, making, cutting out your circle, I uh, prefer cut just a little bigger because you can always trim it. If not, then you have to shrink the uh, toilet paper roll size, okay? So again, I'm not sure that you quite get it. So here's uh, the layout. I'm already laid them out and then I'm gonna cut them. Once I cut them, they look like this, and now I'm gonna take these. See, they kind of soft. They are really soft right now. Okay, so I'm gonna what I want. What I want to do is I'm gonna bring them up. Okay, then I'm gonna lay them in the circle, because the circle is probably the strongest um, uh, um, structure right here, cylinder. So I'm gonna take this right here. I'm gonna let them lay like this. I will look at it. So I've been looking at it right now. I see a little bit of a overhanging right here. I'm probably not gonna cut them open just because I'm not gonna trim them off just because I wanna I want them to look like a sheet of paper kind of hanging over the edge right here. Okay, so again proportionally looks good like that. I'm gonna let them dry just a little bit. Of course, most important things that you need right now is your slip. For those uh, who don't know the slip, so this is a water suspended clay. So I actually take a little bit of the clay and then kind of blend it. Mmm, they actually have some vinegar in there. Looks really much like a pudding. Looks really good. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna lay it on the on the boards right here, so you can see what I'm gonna do right here. Because for those who usually do want to do um, the slip on the surface, what you can do is you can score and slip on the surface using these things right here. Can you see? I don't know if you can see it right here. Okay. So this serrated area. So you want to do it like that. Make sure that it's all kind of covered a little bit. Okay. So, but, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to prepare my slip on the side. So I can brush it on. But when I brush it on, I get like, you know, an even fineness. So what I do is I'm gonna pour it on my, any vitrified surface, okay? So I'm gonna do that. So you can see it right here. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the brush. I'm gonna lay them out right here. I'm gonna lay them out just a thin layer right here. Almost like a, a thin layer of the slit right here, okay? This gonna help me to pour it later right here and here's my slip okay so what I'm gonna do right here is two things I'm gonna look at my um, slot right here make sure they are dry I'm gonna prepare my bottom slot right here okay so they need to be somewhat dry too um, actually I forgot to make one thing I need to make inside the that cord right here first so I'm gonna take uh, one here I'm gonna put this on the side sorry about that I'm gonna let them dry, both of them, the bottom, let them dry. The top one, I just take one of these, um, this is actually a uh, paper towel core right in there, I like this paper towel in the middle. This is actually from Saran Wrap. So I need to roll this inside clay, which is I prepare already, on some sort of support area. Okay, so instead of a rolling like earlier, I do that core. I, it's better if I lay them on some firm structure. So what I will do right here is I'm gonna take this. Okay, so the reason for the paper is later when I put my clay on top, I can pull the clay out easily if I have a paper. Now I'm gonna take one of these right here. This will be the middle of the clay right here so I'm gonna roll them up okay 
Now I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna roll them like this right in here. So I have plenty left. Can you see I have a plenty left right here, okay? So now with this plenty left, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. Can I zoom in? No, I can't. Oh my gosh, okay, whatever. All right, so I'm gonna take this ren, rip, and I'm gonna go back right here. I'm gonna take this slip that I put it down right here, just run across like that. Boom, like that, can you see? All right, so now I have a glaze. I have a little slip, not glaze, on the score area. And I'm gonna kind of lightly touch it so I know exactly where my mark is. So I'm gonna score and slip too as well, okay? And make sure you're gonna bring this closer so you probably can see it better. All right, so again, I'm gonna put this one down. Uh, all right. So again, I'm gonna roll them up right here. Can you all see it? Right here. So I'm gonna write this slip right here. Boom. So smart, my teacher taught me that. Okay, right. so I'm gonna roll this, I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna firmly compress just a little bit. You know, let all the slip kind of lose out a little bit. I'm gonna take one of these ribs that I made. I'm gonna cut a 45 degree right here, just a little bit. Cut them off, get these excess out. And then I'm gonna use this uh, uh, newspaper that I prepare on the side. I'm gonna take this. Cause I don't wanna do it on the table because if they stuck, then I can take it out. But I can roll this right here, can you see? Now I'm gonna roll it just a little bit. And I'm gonna gently, but firmly compress a little bit. So this is called score and slip. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna actually use some of this rib right here, and I'm gonna go back to compress even more right here. You see? Right there, yes. I'll let them firm up just a little bit, okay? Now you can see, I can pull this, I can really pull my clay out, right? But if we open this up, right here, okay. and take out that, whatever the inside, right here, you can see, I'm gonna take them out, right there. And then I can take the, easily take the paper out. Boom, like that. Okay, here you go, here's my inner tube. I got my inner two ready. I think my inner two is a little taller than I want it, but that's okay. Okay, now we're gonna come back right here. You're gonna join this in the middle. Okay, right in the middle. So again, score and slip. I'm gonna do this. Okay, right here, score. And I'm gonna slipping with the slip right here and gently just tap it and put it in the middle. I can always cut them later on, yes? Here you go. Now that is the top of the bottom of my toilet paper, but I can always cut it later. And I can actually go in to cut it if I want to. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this I'm gonna move to the next area. I'm gonna wait for this. Now I'm gonna have that skin coming out from the bottom. The other clay. I'm gonna take this on the side. Ooh, I'm put this right here. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna move this on the side. Clear my area just a little bit. It's all messy. Put it right there. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. Now, Hopefully this already kind of firm up a little bit. So what I will do is doing the same thing. I'm gonna open them up just a little bit where I mark. What you can also do is you can mark it if you don't know where to score and slip, okay? So if you can come closer, if you really don't know where to score and slip, you can actually touch a little bit of your slip on the edge and you kind of go ahead and touch it a little bit and then that will give you, you see a little line right there? that actually can give you a score and slip line. So I'm gonna come back here and score and slip just a little bit, okay? This time I'm gonna move it like that. And score and slip. 
for and sleep. So I'm gonna put it down here. Kind of like doing a, not quite butt joint, but overlap just a little bit, okay? Right here, okay. So there's nothing to really for me to hold down to it. So what I will do is I can take one of these right here and support it inside and I'm gonna lightly compress. Lightly compress. And again, this is still my overhanging pieces, the, pa the little piece of, uh, looks like a toilet paper, yeah? Okay, so I'm gonna hold it like that. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna go back to kinda um, fix it a little bit at the inside. I wanna make sure my inside is joined. So I'm gonna compress a little bit from the outside, from the inside, and let them dry a little bit, okay? Again, go always go back to compress a little bit. Come back. Once this is done, and you let them firm up a little bit, then you can take your toilet paper, um, the cord, I will do is I will compress the edges. I will uh, score and slip the edges. I'm gonna put a little bit of a slip on the side, on the outside. Maybe I'll use a brush this time. Okay, right here, a little bit. Yep. Yeah. All right. So now I have. The clay, score and slip with the slip on there. And then now this time, I wanna clean my area. I don't want my area too messy because then some, a lot of times the student has a very um, like messy station. So all the um, surface getting a little dark. I mean, getting a little bit um, kind of yucky surface. Okay, so what am I doing right here? All right, so I'm gonna Push it down. Now, this is a fun part. I'm gonna take this right here. I'm gonna bring out my slip. So you can see I'm laying a nice slip right here, right? I'm gonna take this little piece of my clay, holding it like this. I'm gonna do this. Boom. Here you go. I pick up all the slip that I need and I'm gonna come down, put it in the middle. Can you see the toilet paper now? Yeah, I think so. Here you go. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna firmly, because right now I'm doing a butt joint, so make sure all the area is firmly compressed. Okay. Here you go. All right, Houston, we got some problem because I didn't measure this right. So um, I think my top is a little too tall. Oh, but that's okay. We're gonna take this. We can always improvise, right? I'm gonna take this right in here. I'm gonna run it. Cut it slightly. Yes. All right, right here. There you go. Okay. Now on the side, so you can see a little bit of toilet paper roll right here already. So now on the side right here, they see all those overhang. So what I will do this. I'm gonna take my needle tool. I'm gonna to cut it 45 degree angle joint right there. Okay, just a little bit. I wanna be, I wanna uh, cut a little more than I need it. Cut a little, I mean, cut a little less. So I have a little overhang. Because I can always fold my clay up and then trim it. But if I cut a little too much, then I can't really trim them, yeah? So I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna take this out. And right now this clay is way too wet to do any of the compressions, okay? But that's okay. You know what, sometimes you need time to wait to do whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. So now, after this, I'm gonna come around the edges because I already kind of compressed the edges. I'm gonna come to around the edges of the table. I'm gonna run my clay up, really pushing 
from the bottom up to join the edges, okay? So again, really running it before I attach the second piece right here. So I'm gonna come down this way too, and then I'm gonna come by on the side. Uh, you can't really see it on this side, but, but whatever. Okay. Again, basically my idea is, what I'm doing right now is, I'm gonna take the bottom here, let me get this out. So basically right now, I want to put my hand I want to put my hand underneath it and push the clay, put the clay up right here, against right here. Oh, you see, I cannot see it. Put the clay up and pushing up against from the bottom. Okay? Here you go. This is not too shabby. I'm going to come around, do a little pushing. On the edges. So I can always trim it off. Remember, this is a clay, okay? So I'm gonna come around on the edges, move them up, push the clay. Okay, now we got this part of the paper roll almost done. But the tough part is how we take this on the top to move it right here okay so now i don't know where's my hole it's gonna be so this is another trick right here you're taking your slip you do one of these marking it on the side right in the middle okay because right now i don't know where to cut at this area right so for me help me to cut it i simply take a piece of clay put put the top top piece of a clay and I do one of these. So can you see right now? That's where I'm gonna cut it. Right here. Okay? So I'm gonna take my clay, boom, just cut a little smaller. So I got a little tiny hole. Yes. And then I'm gonna do that, hopefully all. Oh, it's a little taller. I'm gonna cut a little bit more. I think what I did uh, differently last time is I probably should have cut it a little bit more than I needed. Mm -hmm. I know. There you go. I'm gonna trim them just a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, so I'm gonna take this. And my score and slipping tool, which is somewhere right here. I'm gonna run the clay right here on the edges. And also run on the outside edges. So again, right now, I would suggest this clay should not, because it's very wet. So if I put it on top, it's gonna kinda cave in a little bit. So wave it now a few minutes, okay? So I'm gonna take this, this says I'm already wet for like 10 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna put my slip on top, right here. And now I'm gonna take this piece, gently lay it on top. I'm gonna compress them from the top, gently. I'm gonna compress the inside. I'm gonna go back to definitely fix it again. But right now, roughly, I'm gonna go, and then once I'm done, make sure everywhere is compressed. How do you compress? Take a rip, 45 degree angle, pushing down to the edges. And notice my top piece is a little overhang than the bottom, and that's exactly what I wanted because I can always go back in to trim a little smaller. So I'm gonna take it right here, right? I'm gonna come down, trim a little bit smaller, yeah? And then wait until they dry a little bit more, you can trim even more. I'm gonna come right here. Okay, 
wait for them to dry okay guys wait for them to dry so now you got this little overhang right here i'm gonna kind of show you fix just a little bit oh my goodness look i got a toilet paper roll looking sculpture right here so again i will fix them and then i maybe even go in to pinch up my a little bit of the paper looks like very thin overhanging on the side you know and maybe going doing a little marking so here's a little bit of toilet paper right here Da, 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 da. Bye. All right, go make some soft slap constructions. Have fun.